Savannah, Georgia Some may have wilted after making a non-couple bogey 13 at final stage of Q school. The British Columbia, Canada native incurred four penalty strokes off the tee at the par 4 13th hole at the Landings Golf and Athletic Club, Marshwood, in Saturday's second round at final stage of the Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament. Hitting his ninth shot from the tee box, he found the fairway with a four iron and proceeded to make a five on his fifth ball. It was his only over par score of the day, and he signed for a respectable three over 74. He stands one over total through two of four rounds at final stage. He's T66, three strokes back of the all-important top 40 and ties number for guaranteed starts on the 2023 Corn Ferry Tour. Crisologo's other 17 holes Saturday consisted of four birdies, an eagle and 12 pars. He even felt good with his swing on the 13th tee, but he hit a driver out of play, then two three irons out of play and one four iron out of play, before the fifth time was the charm. The PGA Tour Canada alum even joked that after making the 13, he figured he would be asked to give post-round comments. He knows he still has a strong chance to fulfill the week's baseline mission of earning guaranteed starts via top 40 and ties, and aside from the 13, he's 8 under for the week in coastal Georgia. Only two players have fared better than 8 under through 36 holes, Chan Kim and Alan Wagner. Honestly, still in shock at what happened, said Chrysologo after signing his card Saturday. Played pretty well out there. They moved the tee box up on us on no 13 and ended up making a 13 on no. The wind was blowing pretty hard to the right. With the tee box up, I decided to take driver out and see where it would get me. Ended up hooking that one out of bounds. Then we took three iron twice and ended up going through the fairway and bouncing out of bounds. Then I took a four iron, bounced out of bounds as well. Then finally got the fifth one in play. Crisologo is a fourth year pro who played collegiately at Simon Fraser University the only NCAA-affiliated school in Canada, after considering golf very much a secondary sport in his younger years. He grew up on a tennis court and also competed in basketball, volleyball, track and field and cross-country in high school. This past summer, he recorded three top 25s in 10 PGA Tour Canada starts, en route to a no. 46 finish on the Fortinet Cup. He advanced through first stage of Corn Ferry Tour Q School outside Chicago and then finished on the number to advance through second stage in Albuquerque. He felt the stakes at second stage, knowing that advancing meant some sort of Corn Ferry Tour status in 2023. He has felt a bit lighter at final stage, which perhaps played to his advantage after the unlucky 13. Crisologo, 26, played his last five holes in two under, and his spirits remained high post-round. The negative turned post second stage is definitely the most stressful week of the year, Crisologo said. Knowing you have Corn Ferry, Tour, status for next year, you can kind of just go out, play your game, see what happens and see where you sit at the end of the day. Stuff like that, 13, happens. If you can move forward from it, it'll be a lot easier. I played pretty well all day. Just the one blip on the scorecard.